Cardano Constitutional Workshop in Dubai. How was the event? I thought the event was fantastic. It's really great to see the community coming together and discussing these existential questions for how Cardano is going to be governed in the next 20 and 30 years. And what can we expect from Cardano um, coming up? We can expect a lot actually. So with the last uh, hard fork, the Chang'e 1 hard fork, uh, a lot of people have emphasis on the governance part. But what people don't realize is we also stabilize the code base, which means that the operation resilience goes on. You can see in my t-shirt, we actually have been uh, you know, finalizing blocks since 2017. So it's basically only us and Bitcoin in the whole technology space who have an uptime like that, which is insane. Uh, the second part is we introduce what we call PLS, which is basically a, a type of uh, primitives for CK rollups which allows you to add even more enterprise applications in Kedah. And as you probably know here in Dubai, we actually have a collaboration with the Dubai police about bringing uh, ballistic fingerprints from, uh, from guns and uh, cartridges, plus physical fingerprints on the blockchain without revealing identities, which basically allows the Dubai police to be on the forefront of digital transformation and, and basically making the world more safe without actually releasing the privacy of its citizens. So you're going to see much more real-world applications. So uh, of course, crypto, NFT, and digital assets is going to continue being there. But what you're really going to see now is critical infra infrastructure applications and real-world assets like you know furniture and chairs and buildings and the carbon footprints from all these places going live on the blockchain where they can be verified. Sounds amazing. It is.